Okay, we're going to talk about the plot leaks for The Witcher Season 1, Episode 6, Rare Species. This is the one about the dragon. So, uh, the this is based on the short story by Andrei Sapkowski, The Bounds of Reason. Uh, and this is the short story in which uh, Geralt and Yennefer meet a golden dragon. So... Uh, the way that the Witcher season one's going to work is they're going to be going on alternative timelines. Uh, so, uh, series timeline's going to happen much later in the time, but you're going to see that from episode one onward. So, we're not entirely sure what series, uh, timeline is, although it should probably be pretty close to Brokilon by episode six. Uh, where she's with the dry dryads, but I haven't got confirmation of that. But what we do have confirmation of is that Yennefer and and uh, Geralt of Rivia's timeline will be together, and they'll be in this short story, The Bounds of Reason. Episode 5, the previous episode, was the last wish where they first met. This supposedly takes place at least four years later, after they've had kind of a long absence and somewhat of a falling out. All right, so there, Geralt uh, it starts out this short story by hunting a basilisk, but while he's gone, uh, Roach and his stuff is uh, nearly stolen by the locals. But this guy named Borch, or Three Jackdaws, which is kind of like the the, the Three Jackdaws is kind of his. Uh, the the picture or the <laughs> on his his uh, shield, so uh, his sigil I would I guess it would be the, the technical term, and he's accompanied by two Zeracanian women warriors, Taya and Vea, and they all retire to the pensive dragon where they have stories and and Borch uh, has treats Geralt to a wonderful dinner. And a wonderful evening uh, with uh, Taya and Vea. And uh, one of the interesting things at the Pensive Dragon Inn uh, is that uh, Borch engages uh, Geralt in a conversation about dragons. And Geralt says that dragons are intelligent monsters and he would not kill a dragon. Uh, he would not uh, kill a dragon uh, because they don't pose a risk to man and they're also very intelligent. Uh, so that, uh, I think, is going to make Borch or Three Jack Taws very happy. So next day they run across uh, this, this uh, barricaded bridge and they meet Dandelion or ja Yaskier. In the show, he'll be called the Askier, uh, but in the, the short stories in English, he's called Dandelion. So in the show, Yaskier is going to meet them, and uh, they've been told that there's this King Nidamir who's hunting a dragon, uh, and uh, only the people that have letters of safe conduct from the petty King Nidamir uh, will be able to cross the bridge. Uh, which is the way they wanted to go. So what happens is they end up bribing uh, the guy at the bridge. So uh, Geralt finds out that Yennefer is one of the people who does have a letter of safe passage and is in the dragon hunt, and that piques Geralt's interest, so he decides he's going to bribe the the uh, the soldier, uh the Decurion, I think, or something like that. Uh, and he bribes him 200, but Borch or three Jacktaws ups the stakes to 500, and uh, Geralt doesn't have to spend anything. And so Borch, uh, Zaya and Vea, um, his, Borch's bodyguards, his uh, women bodyguards, and uh, Geralt, and also this, this mage, uh, Dorgaray, 
and and Yaskier. So uh, so this Dorgare is kind of an interesting guy. Uh, he's kind of like the environmentalist. He does not want uh, to kill a dragon. Supposedly there's a golden dragon. He does not want it to be harmed, and he's against the whole uh, expedition led by King Nidamir to kill the dragon. So the the, the supposedly uh, the King Nidamir would like to kill the dragon, so he'd be called a dragon slayer. I guess a, a theme that, that shows up in The Witcher 2, which you're seeing the videos of, uh, where Saskia was referred to as the dragon slayer, even though she was the dragon. Spoilers for Witcher 2! Uh, and <laughs> so uh, so it, it, actually in Witcher 2, she's like uh, the daughter of the golden dragon. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the... Let's see. Uh, so Dorgare, the mage, does not want the golden dragon killed, and there's really little evidence that Geralt does either, um, and probably shares Dorgare's sentiments, except that he his real skin in the game is Yennefer. He wants to meet her again. Um, so we find uh, a, a bunch of band of, of uh, adventurers. There's this Ike of Denisel, a knight. Uh, there's Boholt and the Crinfid Reavers, which you also will see in The Witcher 2, uh, and Yarp and Zigrin, who also you will see in The Witcher 2. So the whole the whole cast from uh, this short story shows up in The Witcher 2, if you love games. Uh, so, and then, uh, so Yarp and Zigrin is a, a dwarf. Um, and so the Yennefer's still mad at Geralt, uh, and I guess it comes out at, that they had he disappeared for four years and she hadn't seen him. Uh, but she wants to kill the dragon because she thinks she can sell the dragon parts uh, for a lot of money and uh, be able to get enough money to get a cure for infertility. Uh, you know, one of the big themes with Yennefer is that she is obsessed with, uh, with having children, she cannot have children. She's lost the ability to have children through her magical training, and that um, that bothers her. So, uh, so she actually wants Geralt to kill the dragon, um, but you know Geralt never commits to this. As they're, the hunting party is following the dragon, there's this. Uh, bridge that falls apart and uh, Yennefer hangs on to Geralt uh, as they're almost falling off the cliff because they did not get across the bridge in time and it's only the uh, knight Ike who saves them by throwing a rope. Everyone else is like, ah, let him die. Uh, so Yennefer, of course, is not very popular among the, the hunters. Uh, they're worried that she's going to take two biggest a, a, a piece of the pie uh, or a piece of the dragon if it's killed. So, um, now, of course, Dandelion's stake is he just wants a, a good ballot out of this. Uh, and so, they eventually do track down the golden dragon and uh, Ike challenges him first and Ike uh, does not do well. He's crippled by the dragon. The dragon uses telepathy to, to say, don't use magic, and I won't use flying, and I won't use um, fire breathing. I won't use my fire. So there's a fire breathing dragon uh, who has who can do temp telepathy. Uh, and so they, uh, Ike is the first one to challenge him, and then they, uh, Ike doesn't do very well. He gets the uh, maimed by the dragon, and Yennefer wants Geralt to be the next challenger. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't like Geralt very much. Maybe she just wants to get rid of him. Uh, so, but he does. He's not. He's not willing to do that. Uh, he says uh, it's is is beyond his code of honor. Uh, and then there's this there's this guy Gillenstern uh, who is a Gillenstern, 
uh, who is like the marshal for the king. And the king is very is a young king. He's like an adolescent king, uh, and he hasn't said much. Uh, but he said, but finally he speaks and he says, "You know, I've had enough of this. I have like twice as many troops as the princess who I'm trying to woo, uh, so I can just take her kingdom and take her, and I can marry her if I want. I don't need a dragon. I don't need to convince anybody because I got all the troops." Uh, and he goes on to say that I can poison her after she has my baby and then I'll have her lands. So that he's not a nice, you see, not a nice guy, but maybe he's a, a adept king. And, uh, so the, he leaves them, uh, to the dragon. And so, uh, Boholt, Yarpin, and Yennefer are still interested in the dragon. Uh, Dorgare, uh, wants to end it and, Geralt and Dandelion are uh, neutral, uh, but, you know, uh, Yennefer gets in a fight <laughs> with Yarpin and Bullhold, and she, the Reavers uh, tie her up, and they uh, intend to besmirch her honor, uh, but they, you know, she... This is, how do they get away? So they... I don't think they do get away. I think they are they are captured and then the Reavers decide to, to face off against uh, Villain Terenmuth. Villain Terenmuth. Um... That is, the, that is the Golden Dragon. It seems that the Golden Dragon is not protecting a horde, but rather he is protecting a baby dragon. Um, and so we also... It, so we get the idea that... So this all... The Sapkowski story started from kind of a legend that uh, there was a shoemaker who who killed a dragon and Sapkowski goes through this whole thing about how the shoemaker, this local peasant who's also in the hunting party poisoned a dragon, uh, with like a, a, a sheep, uh, bait and the poison, uh, dragon we figure out is the mother of this dragon and the mother is dead. The baby is still alive and the golden dragon is kind of the adoptive father. So this is kind of like, um, foreshadowing of uh, Geralt and and uh, Ciri's relationship to a certain extent, and so uh, Yennefer has Geralt burn the the ropes that are binding her with Igni, and she says she doesn't care if it's going to burn her or hurt her; she can take it, and. Uh, they do get free. <laughs> she casts a spell with her foot, uh, turns the entire garrison into toads, uh, square wheels on the wagon, and uh, some other beasts. The 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 the, <laughs> in, the people are changed into. So uh, the Zeracanians show up. Uh, the cobbler uh, who poisoned the dragon uh, doesn't do very well. And we figure out that Villain Tenrith, the, the golden dragon, is actually Borch or three jacktons. So the dragon can be in two forms. So you kind of got this uh, in Witcher 2, that Saskia could be in her human form or she could be in her dragon form. And you see that in the video right next to me. And Saskia, I don't think they make it explicit that she's the one, uh, the the baby dragon. But you know, I don't know that the golden dragon had any other kids, so uh, I I assume they're they're indicating that Saskia is the baby dragon that the golden dragon is protecting. And so the 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 golden dragon is infertile, like Yennefer, and and Geralt, it's one of a kind, 
and uh, I think they make uh, Yennefer and uh, Geralt make up. I think that that's implied, but it's not stated. Uh, and everybody lives happily ef ever after. So we have uh, sp spoiler plot leaks episodes for the first five episodes. This is episode six. We're going to have another one for episode seven. Uh, we're going to continue to do the news for The Witcher. Uh, we'll have a, a pre-Witcher watch party on December 19th. And then on December 20th at midnight Los Angeles time, all eight episodes are dropping, and we're going to try to do as many reaction episodes, uh, reaction videos as we can, as soon as we can. Uh, but since that's the middle of the night, we'll see how it goes. So I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe uh, and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next plot leak video. And you don't miss our analysis and news of The Witcher and the Witcher games. Bye-bye.